Welcome to Bringing the Zoo to You. We're here today in kids country and today we are going to be shearing sheep. So it's springtime and it's time for all their wool to come off so they can enjoy the warmer weather. And I'll take you to Zach and he'll talk about uh, the process of shearing. Got a third horsepower motor here. Wool is a very tough substance, which makes the good clothing. I'll show you some of these combs I have. This one, uh, you're not gonna wanna use this unless you can keep the sheep covered up. It's gonna take the, down to the skin. Here's the 13, which is what I've been shearing with. Here's a cover comb, which is gonna leave, leave some stubble on them. And you can shear them in December with this cover comb. And uh, if you feed them a lot of hay, they're gonna be fine. And here's a rake. That, it's gonna take it off fast. It's a little bit more dangerous. Uh, but uh, those are your options for shearing. So. And we are shearing these guys a little later this year. Uh, if they were pregnant and they were going to lamb, we would shear them a couple weeks before they were due to lamb, just for ease of those lambs finding the tea and being able to nurse and things like that. But since, we weren't, since we're not having lambs this year, we're doing it a little bit later in the year. And the, mo the main reason why we're doing it, we're, or we're shearing our sheep, is for um, heat, the heat, the Kansas heat. They do a lot better without the bull, of course, in the summer. Uh, on the farm, you're gonna do it, of course, for the lambs. And, uh, what else? Uh, so get, it, it's oh, and, well, and your, your horse you're gonna sell, you're gonna, on the farm, you're gonna be able to shear them and sell that wool. The lambs are gonna gain faster with the wool off of them. This is uh, Super Grip. And uh, I was told to use a lot of oil because it's cheap compared to parts. Mm -hmm. But this is gonna roll right around all the contours of the sheep. Uh, if you have a shear master, that's fine. This is gonna get, if you're shearing 100 headed there, so this is gonna be your better option. So. Yeah, and you might hear or have heard him when he was sharing say like the sheep were gummy. The sheep naturally put off uh, oil and that's why they can sometimes look a little uh, black around their pits and around their neck and stuff like that. And that oil neck will, it's like basically a type of sweat. It's your, it's your lanolin and uh, it's used for everything. Uh, hand moisturizers and everything have lanolin in them. And it bas it's basically keeping them warm as an extra insulation. It keeps their wool a bit smoother and stuff like that. So. And it's beautiful. That's what he's talking about when he says they were a little greasy, a little sticky from that. <laughs> but that's all natural. <laughs> that's all that. Oil, that natural oil, oil buildup. Almost went extinct during the Civil War. There was one farmer that had the uh, foresight to pin all his sheep down by the creek and the armies couldn't find him. So that's what all these are from, his flock. These have been on 
on grass and uh, it really keeps the fleeces nice and clean having them on grass. off the rocks, that's what they have for feet. So American sheep have it pretty good. Got a little curve to her spine so she's gonna sit and relax well. You always have a sheep to where you don't even really need your hands, but you do have a free hand to pull up the skin and keep the skin tight. But I'm mostly just gonna shear down and see and get an idea how it works. veins across the belly and you always go across the vein instead of with the vein so I'm going crossways in this particular area cover up the feet so they don't come off he's really coming Put your hand on that rifle to straighten her leg. I move kind of slow, and uh, it seems like animals interpret something going fast as something predatory, so I'm going to sit a little better probably to make slow movement. Good share. It's going to share 120 a day. Got a, a juggler here, still boys, to go stuck long side of that. You can take short strokes across these areas. And always take as long a stroke as possible just for speed. Which the faster you are, the less stress you're putting on the animal. So go as fast as possible without injuring them. 
with the horned animal you have some obstacles. But a tuna or a, a jacket sheet kind of has a goat like personality. And they're a little bit more of a fighter than most a lot of breeds. It's about the right temperature for that oil to uh, gum them up a little. If it gets about 100 degrees, you really fly through them. But it's like going through uh, a stick of butter. It's cold right now. Pass the backbone a little you're going to help yourself when you roll them. Always rolling them so towards your shirt machine. Let's go. 